What's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to walk through every tool on Helium 10 for their Amazon software. Now I'm gonna go through each one, how I use them, which ones I don't. And that way when you're going through this journey, you're like, oh, I have that taken care of. I'm gonna track profits here. I'm gonna track inventory here. I can use this for this. And hopefully instead of buying two, three, 10 different softwares, you know exactly how you can use Helium 10. So you can avoid doing that, save some money, save some time, and know exactly how someone's selling on Amazon for over six years now uses Helium 10. All right guys, so hop into my screen here. We can see we're on Helium 10. If you guys need Helium 10, I do have a discount code for six months down below where you can save 20% off per month. So if you guys are gonna get Helium 10, might as well save some money, uh, no brainer there. But today I'm gonna go through every single tool here and talk about how I use it, what it's for, which ones I ignore, which ones are super important. That way you're the most efficient possible with this software when it comes to running your Amazon FBA business. So when you first get Helium 10, the first thing I recommend doing is getting Google Chrome and getting the Helium 10 Chrome extension, okay? So this is probably my favorite thing to do on Helium 10 when going through product research, and that is using the Chrome extension right here. So we see, you know, products like this on Amazon, uh, some funny stuff here. But if we open this up, hit X-ray, open this up, we see, we can see the search volume for this keyword. So funny gag gifts over time. We see it peaks during the holiday season, which makes perfect sense, right? Stocking stuffers, things like that. We can see down here the estimated sales revenue. So 18,000, 53,000 here for a yodeling pickle, uh, pee and pools hat, and some really other funny products in here that actually are doing pretty well for not being uh, during Christmas season here. So this is kind of an interesting niche uh, to look into. But anyways, that's what you do with the x-ray tool. Obviously when you're on Amazon, you have a lot of other things as well. Uh, you can grab the keywords, you can grab the ASINs. Uh, when you're on product pages, you can look at the profitability, review insights, inventory levels. And then if I click on say this yodeling pickle here, open this up, it's gonna make things appear on the actual product page. So BSR, so best seller rank uh, over time here. And we can look when this thing was actually selling. So when it's real spotty like this, really high sales rank means the sales aren't very good. But we can look over here and we can actually extend over here. We can see when it goes down here, sales rank 300, sales rank 400. This is when the sales really took off, okay? So we can see if products are seasonal, how consistent they are, everything like that. Playing around with this number and looking at revenues will give you a little bit more insight with this as well. We look at inventory levels, uh, the sales, keywords, listing optimizer, if there's anything that Helium 10 thinks you can improve on. Profitability calculator is one of my favorites here because you can go in, you know, say you get a quote for $4 here. So how much money am I gonna make with this, you know, with Amazon fees if I sell a similar product? everything like that. So again, this is something I use so much, right? If there's variations, I go to review insights and go to product variations here. There's no variations for this, but you can see which one has the most reviews. So you can assume that one's selling the best here. All questions, all reviews. You can filter this review analysis, you know, biggest keywords in the review here, and then overview as well, top phrases. So this is a good way to really learn about the product uh, in a quick, efficient way. So again, I wish we didn't need product research software for Amazon FBA because it's just an added expense, but we do. To keep up with the competition, to sort through millions of products, uh, to do a lot of things I'm about to go over here, we definitely need some product research software or just software in general. So obviously this does a lot more than product research. So we see black box here, just the first tools, obviously product research is where you kind of start out with. So black box will actually filter through all the products in the Amazon catalog. So millions and millions of products. You can choose what marketplace you want to sort through. So .com is kind of where I specialize in. Categories, review counts, numbers of seller, price, monthly revenue, number of images. It just goes on and on and on here. Then we can actually filter by keywords. So we can look through and see what phrases are getting for search volume, look at niches through the keyword aspect here, which is probably my favorite way to do product research because I want to dominate a niche. I want to dominate a certain keyword and then I'll go broad from there, which all my product research videos go deep on here. Uh, competitors, we can look at competitors, uh, certain niches, product targeting here. This is more for, for me anyways, uh, for ASIN ads, which uh, a little bit more down the path, but if you watch any of my PPC videos, I go over that as well. So black box is gonna where you're gonna start, get the creative juices going when it comes to product research. Next we have Trendsters. So I don't use this too much to be honest with you. So throughout this video, I'm gonna just tell you what I don't use and what I do use, what I think is most important that way. Hopefully it's just helpful for you that way you don't waste any time, but as well as you can go deep in these things. There's probably things on here I should be using, but I just don't uh, just because I probably stuck in my own ways here of selling on Amazon for six plus years. But Trendster will help you kind of and dictate if it's seasonal, if it's just a trend, everything like that, right? And you kind of pick up on anything that's trending or kind of avoid things that are trending, right? Because there's kind of two strategies there when it comes to product research. Magnet is one of my favorite tools here. So if we click into this, we can type in say lemon squeezer here, or we can do gag gifts, right? That probably would have been a better example. Hit get keywords. 
uh, run new search here. We can obviously sort by a lot of criteria here, but it brings up, you know, search volume is 46,000 for this per month here. We can sort by search volume here as well. And we can see related keywords uh, when it comes to this. So this is good for advertising. So your PPC campaigns for writing your listing to make sure the SEO is up to date, everything like that. I also like to use this to find other niche ideas as well. Uh, Cerebro is really cool because it's a reverse product uh, lookup. So say I want to find similar products and similar keywords uh, for this guy right here. So I copy this. Uh, essentially what it does, it just grabs all the ASINs that it's ranking for or indexing for, okay? So just know that when people search, these are the keywords that are popping up for it, okay? So we see, you know, electronic yodeling pickle, funny gifts for friends, Wiz Compton, don't know what that means, dirty soundtrack. Uh, grandpa here. Uh, what I like to do right here, so say I want to look at the market as a whole. I'm going to go 1 through 10 organically to see where it's ranked. I'd mess with search volume here too, word count as well, depending on what I'm doing. But this is a good way to kind of see and then hit search volume here. And I can go over. So funny gifts. I know it's ranking in the top 10. It's got the most search volume. So I can assume that a lot of their organic sales comes from here. So I can go over to funny gifts here and look to kind of see what's going on. So yodeling pickles right there. So I know this is a high volume keyword. So now I'm looking at the market as a whole to see if there's any other product ideas or any other competition I should be wary about. As well, if I'm selling a similar product, I want these keywords inside my listing, also inside my advertising, everything like that. So right there alone, black box, magnet, x-ray, cerebro. Those are probably my favorite when it comes to product research, digging deep in keywords, everything like that. Frankenstein, so it's a keyword processor. So you can actually take giant lists. So if you're on Cerebro or Magnet, you can make these into uh, essentially a big list here. So, and then you can filter, remove duplicates. That way you can add them into your campaigns or your listing right there. So if we hit, you know, process, it's gonna pop over here, your desired results, okay? So that's good just kind of for organization uh, for your keywords, everything like that. Scribbles here, this is a listing optimizer. Uh, so this is good if you're trying to write out your, you know, your listing here. They give you fields here to make sure you don't miss anything. Uh, I use like a Word doc. Again, I'm old fashioned, so I don't use this a lot, but I uh, honestly should probably use this because it's just more organized. Uh, index checker. So to see what your product is indexing for uh, on a keyword basis, this is great to see if you have any indexing problems, like where you're actually uh, ranking, things like that. Uh, going deeper into that whole field is keyword tracker. So when I sell, this is one of my most crucial tools. So keyword tracker will actually track your organic rankings uh, for products here. So if we go to the slim and squeezer here, we can see it's tracking, you know, daily here, um, organic rank, you know, number one for citrus squeezer, uh, fruit squeezer, six, five. So this is my ultimate goal, right? I want to be ranked up in the top five for my best keywords. And this is how I track the, the minute progress, right? If you're, you know, ranked 32 here, you might go to rank 28, 24, but if you're moving up, that means you're doing something right. You might not see sales right away until you get in the top five, but if you go 32 to 28 to 24, that means whatever you're doing is working. So keep doing more of whatever you're doing there. So this is a must when you're selling for me uh, to track your organic keywords. Cause again, when we rank in the top five, that's when we make full price sales while we sleep. That's kind of the ultimate goal of this whole business. Uh, inventory protector. So if you're running coupons, this will kind of protect you to make sure people don't clear your inventory. Um, you could do this on Amazon, but if you want to double check things, make sure um, if you're running coupons, just to make sure everything's good there. Refund Genie, what this is, essentially will tell you if you have any lost or damaged inventory that you need to be reimbursed by Amazon because sometimes they're not perfect in making sure you get uh, reimbursed for things. So this will help you make sure you don't lose any money that you are owed by Amazon, which is fantastic. Uh, sometimes, you know, we've had thousands sometimes uh, that need to roll through. So this could be crucial, especially at scale. Uh, alerts here, so hijacker and product monitor. So you can get emails if someone else gets on your listing, which is great because you want to take care of that right away. Uh, profits, so this is another one that I use just like Keyword Ranker. This is one of the most other important ones because you need to see on a daily level what you're actually making, right? Where's that money going? So many people have no idea where their money's going when it comes to Amazon. This will track your profits daily. You put in your cost of goods. You can put in any other expenses you want. Then every day it will take from Amazon from their very complex and confusing transaction board of what you're being charged. So you can see like, oh, I made 30% profit margin today. Oh, the next day I only made 18%. What's going on? Maybe Amazon miscategorized your product and they're charging you more for FBA fees. So you can go back there, fix that as quick as possible. That way you're not losing any money and you know where your money's going, okay? Uh, so make sure you're doing this when you're selling. This is a must for me. Uh, follow up here. So you can actually hook this up to Amazon just like everything else here. Uh, but essentially you can send uh, buyer seller messages through this on an automated level, as well as you can manage your review requests, things like that on the back end. Buyer seller messages, 
semi-important if you've got a PDF to share to them, things like that. Uh, this is a good way to get it to them. Uh, video instructions, but a lot of people opt out. But if you're gonna do one thing back there, make sure you automate your review request, okay? Uh, next is portals. So this is a landing page builder. So say you have a 34 page guide uh, on your product and you wanna give value, collect emails. This is what you do uh, to do that. I use a lot of Shopify, so I build my lead pages there. But if you know, you're not ready for Shopify and you already have Helium 10, might as well use this here. Next we have Learning Hub. So they have a lot of training, things like that. You know, Kevin King back there, which uh, is pretty cool dude. So if you're just trying to get the basics and not ready for a program yet, anything like that, a lot of good fundamentals in there to get started. Next we have Market Tracker. Ignore this one. There's a brand new one that I'll show you here in a second. Adtomic is extra. So this will automate your Amazon advertising. So your PPC, help you set budgets, bids, more keywords, things like that. I do recommend this at some point, but not when you first start because it is an extra $200 a month. Once you have cash flow coming in, you're starting to scale, you have you know, tens and tens of campaigns where it's getting hard to manage, then I would upgrade to this. But at first, I would challenge you to go learn PPC yourself and really know the nitty gritty because that's gonna make this 10 times better once you know how to run PPC and then you have a tool to help you automate it. Next, we have inventory management. So you can actually put your lead times back there, your manufacturing times, how long it takes to get it delivered. And they'll give you updates from Amazon, from your supply, what you have left and your sales velocity to tell you to reorder. This is a great tool just to be reminded like, hey, it's getting close to that time. So you can kind of sit down, think about it and place your next order. So next we have listing analyzer. So we can go through this on our own listing and competitors listings, kind of see where the holes are and listings to get a little bit of advice here. Again, I, I feel like I have this down quite a bit, not to toot my own horn uh, when it comes to listings, but if you need some help, want to double check, see if there's anything you're missing uh, at the beginning stages, this is a great tool here. We have audience market feedback here, so you can do polls about which packaging is better, what variation is better, what colors you should do. I've actually never used this myself, but if it's something where you're like, I don't know which one to use, uh, which color to get, maybe look at this, but I, I kind of follow the data with the x-ray tool, with review analysis, to kind of figure out what's pushing the most volume. And then I've used PicFu in the past for this too. So uh, not a lot of experience with that, if I'm being honest. Next, we have Amazon attribution. Uh, so Amazon allows you to build external links to send your products for external traffic. This helps you organize it, see the data more clearly, because on Amazon's backend, it's not always so clear. This helps you in one place to look at all your data at once. Next, we have listing builder. So if you're gonna build your listing out, I would use this. So they use AI now to uh, make this a little smoother for you. So you can go in here, we see, you know, I have one started, click this, and they're gonna help you create your listing. Uh, so this is a good place just to kind of, you know, break through the writer's block and just make adjustments on your own here. So I do recommend you learn how to write a listing. That way you can go in here and essentially just optimize they already put the keywords in for you so you can just make a little you know a little better copy here that way it's aimed to sell and not so much you know just keyword stuffed okay and next we have market tracker 360 so this is the updated version of market tracker so this is cool because it actually will go through your market and tell you how much of market share you have versus your competition so say your market has a hundred thousand dollars between all your competition in one month say you do twelve thousand a month it's going to say you have a market share of twelve thousand and your nearest competitor has a market share of 30 doing thirty thousand a month well, you can just kind of, I like to chip away at it, right? Just like to see that market share, just eat away, get to the highest percentage and beat out the competition. So this is a great way, another data point to kind of motivate yourself to kind of take the next level here. So I'm in the old dashboard right now, just to let you know if it looks a little different. The new dashboard is more of uh, your data is front facing here, but you can access everything I was talking about here. I just brought the old dashboard up because it was just more visual, but we can see there's a couple extra things here, just kind of spaced out as far as tools. You can star things to get them on your favorites to essentially get there faster. And the cool thing about any tool here, if we click into here, they always have these learn buttons. So you can essentially just go through there, watch video tutorials on how to use it. So that's really nice too, when there's something new that maybe you don't know how to use, right? Otherwise me going through this, uh, every single one would be a six hour long video. But that's it guys, that's all the tools on Helium 10 that I use and how I use them and what they all do. I hope that gives you some clarity about when you're at certain steps of the business, what tool you can use with the same software you've been using for product research, and then eventually on to you know, tracking your keywords, tracking your market share, writing listings, your PPC, tracking your profits, tracking your inventory. So just kind of a one-stop shop, that way you don't have to have six different softwares and that should really help out. This was valuable, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you guys need Helium 10, you're gonna get it. Might as well use the link down below to make sure you save a few dollars. Otherwise guys, if you already have Helium 10, hope this was helpful. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.